Oh, hello everyone, here I am with another Throwback Thursday video, and, well, not much a review, but with a quite different kind. Because, as I said in some of my reviews of the older LEGO Harry Potter set reviews, that there will be a special video of being put together, obviously. Well, now we're there, because if you look in the back of some of the manuals, then you'll see how they come together well. This is for the 2001 Sorcerer's Stone Wave, which I'll do first. But there is another arrangement with others that were for 2.2002 Chamber Secrets, which, again, also mentioned in a bit. But for now, we got this wave, which, as you see right here. And look in the description below for my playlist of, all of, of most of the sets. So, first off with most of the sets, as which do have these uh, canopy pieces that you just that you just pop right off. Oh whoops. Or just pop right off and put them on. And well this would for the two thousand one range. As there's obviously the sorting hatch, the final challenge, uh, winged keys chamber, Snape's uh, classroom, and the forbidden corridor, and the big epic Hogwarts castle, of course. So the only two that yeah, are to pop the canopy pieces off are Snape's classroom and the final challenge, of course. And also with Snape's classroom. Take this. And then get the Great Hall section of Hogwarts Castle there and pop it on top. And there you go. And of course, the rest of Hogwarts Castle is just off to the side. And for the rest of which, take Forbidden Corridor, and then Final Challenge, and then take Winged Keys, on, pop, and pop them on. And then there you go. And then, as you can see, quite good build all of these together are. But for like most of 2001, for like until middle of 2002, this is all that you had to look at. At least until some that came out the following way, of course. Which, in this advertisement, it does have a few of the others that also do so. Does require uh, the Chamber of Secrets one right here. Like with it all opened up, stretched out, of course. Oh, let me take the Baskas out for now. There we go. And also, do have to take these little tower bits right out of it. Oops. And so now. Yeah, 
one sec. It's Hogwarts Castle. Pop it on the jagged slopes. This section. Pop off of Snape's classroom. And then also pop onto those jagged slopes as well. And there. Let me get this out. So as you can see, Chamber of Secrets pretty much just raising up Hogwarts Castle, of course. And also, for two of the smaller sets of which, being Slytherin and Troll on the Loose, well, Troll on the Loose, which was still source for Stone, but it was out the following year. Same with a couple others, of course. But just pop the archway off of it. As well as the uh, faller thing, of course. And then you take slither and pop it on the top. And there. Well, you can put, place it however you want. And then get Snape's classroom. And let me scoop Jack a little. And then get Dueling Club. Pop it onto those jagged slopes right there. And then you get Dobby's release, and then place it onto those studs there, so fully covered. And then further scooch up, and then you get the trapdoor section from the Chamber of Secrets, and then pop onto those as well, and there. Also, dump the doors off, which is kind of its own standalone uh, thing. Hang on. So, like for later, so then for, for the rest of 2002 and well, afterwards, this is all you had to look at. All the Marauder's Map and Lupin's Classroom from 2004, Prisoner of Azkaban, can kind of be considered part of this system, but, you know, your mileage may kind of, kind of vary. But I don't mind how it goes out or whatever. So, so for my verdict on this, I think it's done pretty well. Like, not sure why the trapdoor part of it is above Dueling Club when it should be elsewhere, but whatever. And of course, good use of Dobby's release being like a corner section of it. And also, even though all the sections may not make much chronological sense or whatever, but at least they kind of try and fit. You can arrange it however you want. Oh. And also, missing bit is of course the basilisk. And I think they do did pretty well for although these couple of towers and canopy pieces are kind of a bit like off to the side, but it, but you can set them up however you want or place in your extra mocking pieces collection or whatever. And and if you have all these sets from back in the day, well. I hope you had some good memories of them, and if you're looking to complete your set, definitely get, well, at least if you have the money to uh, make this whole display of it, because it, as a display, works out great, of course. 
and that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.